Hi, I'm Mark Clegg from the Photographer Academy and today you're going to be seeing a little bit of footage from a workshop that I was doing with my experience group. Uh, we're out on location, we're going to be photographing with a uh, young woman and her horse and um, my job for the shoot was really trying to push their creativity, their ideas a little bit forward. Uh, within my experience group we're basically looking at um, what kind of specialised promotions or for the photographers who are specialists in equine or canine. I've got to come up with some ideas that we can perhaps kind of expand on to just in, make them a little bit more enthusiastic in going out there and shooting the same thing all the time. That's basically what we are as photographers, especially when you're in business. Uh, we're looking for that variety. So I chose this great little location, uh, which is down near the coast, obviously the beach as you can see. We'd gone there specifically uh, Sam, one of our video guys, he found this uh, amazing old tree on the top of the dune and it just looked amazing. But when we arrived, we actually found that it had already been taken down or fallen down, I should say. And uh, we, we kind of went for this great location, but within a few weeks of location scouting, it had actually fallen to the ground, which is a, gut, a gutting really. Anyway, no excuse. I've traveled all this way. The clients arrived with her horse, with the horse wagon and everything else with it. I've got to make sure I get that shot. I uh, wanted to make the lighting a little bit more interesting because it's November and I needed to actually bring a little bit more sparkle to the light that I had on the day. So I opted for speed lights just to give me that little bit of uh, edge lighting or, or to completely dominate the ambient light itself. And as you'll see during the course of uh, this film, uh, a lot of it is, is interacting with the rider, uh, with the girl and kind of getting some real animation going through the shoot to allow us to kind of pick up some kind of really strong images. I won't say they're absolutely amazing images to be fair. I'd love to go back and do it again and again and again to kind of just get better and better at doing that kind of thing. But I really enjoyed actually, you know, playing around with the smoke at the end. Obviously, as you'll see when we're using the smoke canisters, it's going to get the horse a little bit spooked. But I did check with the owner of the horse first and she said, yeah, yeah, it's fine. This is in fact a prize winning, I mean, a top um, pony. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. I'm not into the horsey kind of thing at all with it. But uh, again, all I need to know is don't break its leg, whatever you do, Mark. Make sure you don't put the animal at risk uh, with all these great shots that you're doing. So I hope you enjoyed that film. Just a little bit of fun. I suppose if nothing else, get out there, try something different. That's what I, I did. We got a few good images from it as well. Take care.